Hey all, welcome to Really Little Britain. Folks, now I've got a beer for you. And it comes from the Time Bank Brewery, and it's their Belgian IPA. Okay, coming in at 7.2% ABV. Now, this beer was uh, purchased from Beer House in uh, Yorkshire. Now, I'll be honest with you. Time Bank Brewery. Every beer I've had, I've been very, very disappointed. They did this porter last year, big. Christmas beer, and it was probably one of the worst, beer, uh, worst beers I've ever had. Um, but I like the look of this. Nice 330 ml bottle, wax top. Fingers crossed, this is a nice beer. So it's a Belgian IPA, but it's a speciality with American hops and Belgian yeast. So let's see if we can get this open. I'm going to have to try and get through the wax first of all. I should have thought about that before the review. Here we go. So the beer opened with just a little hiss. Go straight in. So the beer is pouring with good carbonation. And it's poured quite a big head, folks. It's a three finger head, tightly packed bubbles. I've just purchased this glass. Um, just to see exactly what it was like, and it was in um, where was it? It was IKEA, ninety nine p. Um, just to see exactly what it was like, but tightly packed bubbles, folks. Let's go straight in with the nose. Okay, so the first thing you're picking up is a uh, grapefruit. There's a bit of a <laughs> sweaty sock smell. There's some white grape. There's a little bit of white bread. As you can see, the beer is still sparkling. The head's still there. There's a little bit of honeydew melon. Let's go straight in. Cheers. Okay, <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to say is, does not taste like a Bell's and tastes like a paleo. It's got a little bit of, um, which I'm guessing is Centennial hops, possibly a little bit of Simcoe. Um, the body on the beer, it's not drinking 7.2%. It's got Crystal 60 malt in it. Probably Mara Sauter. Um, there's a little bit of grapefruit, there's a little bit of pineiness, there's a little bit of lemons, there's a little bit of um, uh, like lemon pith. Then what you start to get is quite a dirty, grassy bitterness. Well, what can I say, folks? What can I say? Another Time Bank Brewery beer, which is not the best. I'm starting to lo really lose faith in this brewery. Um, the body in the beer is alright. But it's just... It seems like the beer has been over-bittered. And then... If it's been dry hopped, it's been left for too long, because it has it got a it's got a really shitty bitterness and a really grassy finish. Folks, what's the finish like? The finish is it's malty. It's got a light caramel this to it with um. Quite a unique, <laughs> grassy, grassy, grassy bitterness, which is intercepted with different um, citrus and a little bit of lemon and grapefruit. I'm just confused as how 
Oh, I'm just going to say, I'm just so disappointed, that's all I'm going to say. Folks, this was purchased from Beer House in Yorkshire. Um, David, thanks for sticking in the box uh, for me to try. Um, but, again, another beer I'm disappointed with. I just don't understand it. What's the rating? Folks, it's a 2 out of 10. It's a 2 out of 10. That's really the Britain. Doing a review on Time Break Breweries. I don't even want to call it a Belgian IPA because it's not. It's like an American pale ale. Cheers. Slam a car.